So, I'm going to go over the wiring for the radiator fan here. This is a relay switch set up for a, a fuel pump, but pretty sure it'll work with this. So, when you're wiring, we've got a nice little graph here to kind of show us what the gist is of everything. So, get a good look at that. Pause, take a screenshot if you need to, because I'm about to look at it to kind of help me re go through this. <laughs> so, this is going to be your main power. It'll connect to the blue. That'll run to your relay. And then from that, you're going to have your red wire, which is going to be your ma main power supply to the relay. It's going to hit the circuit breaker. It's going to come to this one, splice it, disconnect it, hook it to that one. And this, the rest of this will run to your battery, right? So then from the relay, you got your yellow wire. It's going to hook up to your switch, which It'll kind of do like this, and then from here, this will go back to here. I'm sure this is your ground. So this is going to be grounded, which is going to be any piece of metal. You can take a self-tapper, scrape some of the paint off, zip it in there with some bare wire showing, or you can find a bolt that's already on the car, just strip some paint off of it, and bolt it on there. So that'll be grounded, and then from here, your gray is going to run through your relay, and then I'm guessing your ground is going to be pretty much just flip-flop through there and it will hit your switch. So this switch is going to also have a, another wire coming off of it that will run straight to the battery. So this switch is going to have constant power and then once you flip the switch, it will then connect your ground and ground it so that way it will have power. Um, it's basically the gist of it. Your purple, here's your relay. Got a bunch of, a mess of wires coming off of this. So they kind of just run over real quick. And black is normally always going to be your ground when it comes to vehicle wiring. And houses, black is usually your power supply, but vehicles, normally that's ground. So your purple is going to run to your blue on this fan. That's going to be your power. From this, You'll just connect it to any piece of metal in the car, like the body or the frame. From here, you'll have your red wire running off of this relay. It's going to get a split at the circuit breaker. So that way, if anything happens, a surge, any weird kind of stuff like that, this will trip. And then from here, you'll have it run into the battery. You'll have another wire coming off of the switch to the battery. And then this yellow also gets tied into the switch. So, I'm not sure exactly which one it would be here, honestly, because they're both the same color. Usually gold or a copper color is gonna be your hot wire. So, I would assume on here, if you get a closer look, I would assume that this one right here is gonna be your hot, just because that little dimple or rivet down in there is copper and this one's silver. So, this yellow wire would probably run from this one to your relay, and then the gray wire on your relay is going to get grounded, and then you'll have another wire coming off of this that will run straight to your battery, the positive terminal. So that way this is going to have constant power once you flip that, it will connect the ground through the relay and you'll have power. That's pretty much the gist of it, I hope I didn't get too confusing, there's quite a few different wires, normally it's just a hot, a cold, or it's a hot, a cold, and a switch wire or a neutral but uh yeah that should be just about it